Hello, my name is Mitchell Seinfeld. This is the Easy Pro Mop. This is an instructional video to show you exactly how to make your mop work once you purchased it and you brought it home. I'm going to go over everything there is to use on the mop, how to store it, and the different parts in case you ever had a question, you'd be able to tell us exactly what's going on with your mop. I hope you enjoy the video. Now when you get the mop, obviously it's hard like a rock. You're not going to be able to mop your floor with it. Do not pull that handle, you would break something. This is a special plastic, it's very absorbent, very easy to use. All you're going to do is simply just rip off that cellophane that's on the mop. That's all you have to do is take the cellophane right off. Now if you don't get it all off the very first time, it's very simple. Whatever loose pieces I have will come off in the water. You're simply going to put this into a mop bucket. You can do this in a sink, you can even do this in a dish pan. You want to use warm water, it takes five minutes. After five minutes, watch this. You're going to take your hand and squeeze it. The reason you're squeezing it, you're going to make sure it's soft to the center and there's no hard spots. If you feel a hard spot, please put it back in warm water for a few minutes. Once it's soft to the center, that's when it's safe to pull that handle. Do not pull it until you check it, otherwise you could damage the mop head. Just to give you a little presentation, this is a little soy sauce, watch this, and this is a little black pepper. That's something wet and something dry. I don't care what the spill is, what the dry stuff is, you'll love the mop. Now you could use any cleaners, just no bleach. If you want to use Fabuloso, Lysol, Pine Sol, any of the cleaners is great. If you do have a wood floor or laminate, try white vinegar and water. You'll love it. I'm simply going to mop the floor. I'm going to do one pass, just like so. you actually see everything stick to that mop head. You're basically sweeping and mopping at the same time. You'll love this for the pet hair. Your hands never touch the dirty water. The mops will ring out clean. By wringing the mop out, you're basically cleaning it. You're going to love this on all the floors inside of your home. Now, when you're done mopping with it, what I usually do is I wring out the mop like so. If there's any water or moisture left behind, I'll give you a great tip. You simply flip the mop on either side and just pull it in one direction. That's like a vacuum cleaner and a squeegee effect on the floor. That's the same way you'll pick up the dust if you have any dust or hair on the floor. When one side gets filled up, you could flip it over to the other side and everything will rinse right off. Now if you do have hair on the floor, let me give you a great tip. Do not put the hair in the pail. Just take your finger, a napkin or a tissue, wipe the hair off and put it into a trash can. As long as your water stays clean, your drain will be clean, and your mop stays clean. Now when you need to change the mop head, you only do this every couple of years, no tools are needed. Right above our pull lever, that's what we call it the pull lever, is an adjustment for loosening and tightening this head. You simply turn this to the left like so. It loosens up that mop head, and you'll actually see it drop right down. There's two chrome arms that hold that head into place. All you do is simply squeeze the two arms in, and the head comes off. There's nothing simpler. It hooks on one side, it hooks on the other side. The mop will not work until you take this slide and tighten it right back into place. Now, don't, please do never over tighten it. So many customers will tighten it up all the way like so, and then the mop isn't going to work well for them because you're pushing it all in there. Just have it touch the rollers, and you will love it. Now, if you don't use the mop for a few days, it will dry hard again. That's a great feature. You're not going to get odor, mold, or mildew like other mops. Always put it back into warm water. Give it a good squeeze. It'll come back to life. And please store the mop in a clean place. Don't leave a mop in a dirty room outside or in the corner of a garage. We store our mop in our laundry room with all of our other cleaning supplies. If you have a clean mop, you always have a clean floor. I hope this helps you. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us at mitchellproducts.net.